<laughs> I think someone's trying to set me up. Mm-hmm. Refreshing. Hi, my name is Ada, and today we're trying each other's cultural snacks. Today is sweets. I'm not a massive sweet person, so I don't think I've tried too many sweets around the world. How are you going to define I, the country? I feel like you can a bit more so than you can a biscuit. Oh, I have a sweet tooth, so I'm looking forward to this. Strong. I can't smell too much. Aniseed? If this was licorice, I'm going to be like fuming. Oh, wait. It's all bad as I thought it would be. It's menthol. It's little. Mm-hmm. Refreshing. It's the one flavour I don't like. It reminds me of like Sambuca. Yes, oh. exactly. Like Sambuca. Oh my god, it's so good. This is one that you chill with for like an hour. <laughs> like yeah. you. Love this candy. I love this sweet. Tom 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 tom. I feel like that's the challenge. <laughs> you never had a tom tom before. <laughs> so just, just for that. I don't think it's from any of these places, but from this place. Okay, here. Yeah, that's it. I'm done. I'm gonna say maybe here. I'm I'm gonna have to go with this one here. Tom Toms are this is a black and white menthol candy situation. We're not a sweet nation, so this is like I think this is the max that we have. This smells oh. really nice. Ah, this is Indian. I'm a bit scared. I think this is gonna be Why? like very, very heavy. Caramel. Is that just straight up caramel? Mmm. That's a fire flapjack is what's going on now. We've got some pistachio. Mmm. It's like quite a big slice. And I feel like I need to have this with a drink. That's me. I think that it's from this place because of the level of sweetness. I'm going there. I'm going here. I'm pretty certain it's from this country because it's very similar to something I know. So for my sweet, I bought halwa, which is a very like sugary, like carroty square basically. So Indian sweets are generally like all called matai. Basically sugar and carrot, very, very sweet. So you only need a little bit. I love it wrong. Oh, they split. If anything, this is closer to a biscuit. Oh, it's just nice. It's a lot harder than your typical wafer. No, because it's like four layers. Mm. I think I've messed up with Italy here. I think Liram's trying to set me up. Delicious, crisp, chocolatey, but not too chocolatey. Mm. I reckon it's one of those tea things, so I'm gonna put it here. I'm gonna put you here. It is telling me that it's from here. I feel like this country does a good weight, but so we're putting you right here, baby. I'm gonna go right here. <laughs> I knew it. I think someone's trying to set me up. My sweet, it's a wafer chocolate biscuit. We call them Napolitanka. Again, can be found all over the Balkans, not limited to Kosovo, but super delicious. It looks like a giant paracetamol. It doesn't have a discernible smell. No. I was expecting it to like fizzle in my mouth. You're crunching it. <laughs> yes. I mean, it's really nice. It's got like a very milky flavour to it. People can't be enjoying that. What is that? It tastes like salt in a cube. And like the corner shop, we get like the milk bottles. It's kind of like that, but like dusty. Because I believe these look like condensed milk and that's what that was given. No, that these guys have tea and like milky, like chai. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go there. Oh, I'm just gonna go here. I'm gonna go with this because I feel like later there might be a snack that I'm gonna more closely associate with this place. I, I just feel like this is what the people like to eat. My sweets are a gelatina, but they're basically milk-based. If you look at them, you would, without the packaging, they will look like they're mint, but then they're actually milk. Nougat. Like soft. Oh. Nougat for me is addictive. Oh. This is Ryan. Mmm. Mm. Pistachio is one of my favorite nuts. And with nougat, this combo is amazing. I feel the texture is the main thing that stands out about it because it's like, Squidgy and soft, but then you've also got like a lot of crunchy texture with the nuts in it. Because of what I'm stuck with, I have to say it. Yeah. You are going here. I thought Iran was India. I was thrown off. And now look, now this is going to be right. Yeah. I don't like it. I'm going to go Philippines, but I really think it's Iranian. Put it here, because I don't think that like nougat-y flavour I don't associate it with here. So my Iranian sweet is called Gaz. It's chewy, it's doughy, it's nutty. It's like, this is the baseline introduction. I feel like I had to show it to everyone. 
honey lemon menthol. It'll be a lot of uh, different flavors. Yeah, I feel it must be lemony, right? Oh, very lemony. I love sweets like this, man. Uh. Oh, I love that. Mm. Oh, that's really nice. Like a lemon sherbet, but not quite a sherbet tea. I'm just closing my eyes and I'm on some sort of tropical island. I don't, you don't bite it, do you? I don't know. Uh, I'll crunch it. Whoa! I think it's really from the Philippines. It's definitely the Philippines, but I don't have Italy left, so... Well, I'm going to have to just put it there, because that's what's left. Mm -hmm. I'll put it here. Oh, I think I probably would have put it here, regardless. The Filipino sweets I've bought are called Max Sweets. They're kind of like these menthol, lemony, honey kind of sweets. They were like the only sweet I could find, to be honest. But, you know, the Max brand is a big brand in the Philippines, so I thought they're the one. But my favourite one would have to be Nougat one. Oh my god, on. I agree! To the max, <laughs> the best, and then I like Tom Toms, and then everything else can I'll give that a miss. I love the wafer. I think I'm a. I don't like. I really don't actually like a hard sweet. Right, that's understandable. I so, can I love gas, but I also I'm a big fan of wafers. I'm a huge wafer fan. So these are like my top two favorites. 